and king kneel before me. What are you doing there, Nicodemus? Who is this Nicodemus? I am Christ the King. Yeah, I don't think that's how Jesus would actually sound. Why? You're making him sound like some cruel, power-hungry king. That's how a king talks, right? Many kings have been like that, yes. But Jesus is not like those normal kings we think of. He's kind and gentle. How can a king be gentle? What's a king? He sits on a throne Oppressing his subjects, protecting his own What's a king? A tyrant is he A king wouldn't care about you Or about me You may have heard that we're celebrating the Feast of Christ the King But what is a king? Is it just someone who sits on a throne wearing a crown? Let's think about that while drawing something fun. Welcome to Art with Grace. Remember, you can draw with anything you get your hands on. Pencil, pen, tablet, just have fun. We always start by drawing you. Add all the things that make you, you. Let's draw you as a king. When we think of kings, we think of someone super important and proud. He's probably sitting on a throne way, way, way up there and no one can touch him. That way, he can look down on us, people who are nobodies. Now, let's draw Jesus as king because he's a king too, but not in the same way that we know. Jesus is gentle, kind and walks beside us instead of being untouchable and far away up high. Now that is a real leader. Get yourself as a leader, in charge of people. And as a leader, you should lead like Jesus, with love, compassion and humility. To be a leader, you need to first serve your people. Kings are not normally known to be kind and gentle, but that's what makes Jesus so special. Why isn't he like the other kings? Because he loves us too much to order us to do things or be cruel. So he, he doesn't even wear a crown? Nope. In fact, he's so humble that he chose to be born in a manger. Manger? It's a place where animals stay. Like a farm? Isn't it smelly? <laughs> uh, probably. Why did he choose that? Because he wants to show us that being a king doesn't mean being above everyone else. So he's below us? No, he's with us, like a friend. Cool, I'm friends with a king. The Feast of Christ the King is special in so many ways. One of those ways is that it brings us to the end of the liturgical year. And what comes next? It's the season of Advent. The word Advent comes from a Latin word meaning coming or arrival. Can you guess what is about to arrive? Christmas is coming, isn't it? That's right! Jesus is arriving. Because Christmas is when we celebrate the birth of Jesus, Advent helps us to prepare for His arrival. When you go to church next Sunday, Look out for the Advent wreath. It has three purple candles, one rose candle, and one white one. What do all these colors mean? We'll find out more in the coming Advent weeks. For now, let's remember to honor Jesus as our King. So let's see how Natalie and Nicodemus are doing. So being King doesn't mean above others? Yeah, same for being any kind of leader. Jesus showed us how to lead. What did he do for us? He gave up his life. That's right. He didn't sacrifice the people he was leading. He sacrificed himself as a leader. Because of his love? Yeah. So that's how we must lead too. What can I lead? Hmm. Aren't you the class monitor? Yes. That's a leadership position. So when you do your monitor duties, do it with love and care for your classmates. And just like Jesus, I should be humble. Yes. Born in a manger. Uh, a bit too late for that. But yes, always be humble and loving. Leading others is a responsibility. One to be taken seriously. Okay, I gotta go. Have fun playing. Bye. I am king. How can I help you? What's a king? He's humble and just. The Lord is our King, and in Him we shall trust. He 
he's a king who's gentle and kind. He leads us and loves us like no earthly king you can find. That's right. Jesus as king showed us what it means to lead. It's not about feeling above others or being proud of it, but seeing how you can help the people you're leading and serve them with love the way Jesus does to us. Hope you enjoyed that adventure. See you next week. Love of God.